Good morning, friends. How are y'all? It... Oh, always, 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 always got a bark. Asher. Hey, Asher, look at mama. Hush. Shh. He knows too. But anyways, good morning. How are y'all? I'm back with another what I eat in a day. It has been a while, and to be honest, I have not been doing that great. Um, it's like some meals I'll be eating low cal, and then I'll be like, oh, let's stop and get something on the way home from work. I don't know what, I don't know why I've been losing my motivation. You know, I had a year where I had like great motivation, and now I just don't have that discipline. And it's definitely when it comes to food and working out, I'm kind of like falling off the track. And I don't know if it's because I've gotten closer to my goal weight, so I'm happier where I am, so I'm like, it doesn't matter as much to me. Or I don't know if it's because I got so frustrated with not losing any more weight after trying and trying for like, because I stayed on track a good six months after stalling. So I haven't determined, um, I'm not enjoying counting calories. It's way more difficult to me. So I may go back, sorry, I messed them up to my great day below me. Um, I may go back to uh, WW, even though I do think WW causes me to eat lower points, uh, lower calorie, too low. I may go back to WW and set it on maintenance so that way I get a few extra points. I just like the idea that this is one point, this is five points versus, um, I don't know, doing calories just seems a lot to me. However, I like the flexibility, like, you know, I eat these little ice creams that are 90 calories and some of them are 70. You know, it'll say they're like five points on WW. I wish WW wasn't so strict with like the sugar and all that. I wish it was more reasonable, but that's neither here or there. But um, let me stop rambling. I'm gonna cook my brother, my, not my brother, my husband and I a big breakfast. And at the same time, I'm gonna go ahead and meal prep me some breakfast tacos. And let me just show you the ingredients I'm using to try to make it healthier. I haven't made breakfast tacos in a while either. So we're gonna have biscuits and gravy today. And so I'm gonna use this country sausage gravy, which I don't know if I've used the sausage, but, um, this isn't super hot in points, and honestly, I don't eat much gravy, and this is just today. Um, of course, I got tons of eggs back here, and then I was excited to find this. I found at HEB some reduced fat breakfast sausage, and I'm going to keep cook all this up. Some of it crumbled for my breakfast tacos, and then some of it, um, well, crumbled for the, the gravy, too, because I'm making like a sausage breakfast gravy. And then some of it in patties just for us to eat today. And then I'm going to do some biscuits. And these are 180 calories. They're not reduced fat or anything, but I figured one would be fine. Let me see what else. And then some hash browns from Trader Joe's just for this morning. Oh, and then the tortillas I'm using are the... Oh my God, like, Uh, the carb counter, which these are only 45 calories or one point. So, uh, on my breakfast tacos, it's just going to be egg, sausage, oh yeah, and light Mexican cheese on a tortilla. So, I don't think those will be super high in calorie or if you're looking at points either. Um, of course, I'll work it all out and show you. But the breakfast this morning will be higher calorie, higher points because I'm having, you know, more things. But I'm not worried about that because typically when we eat this big of a breakfast, we don't, um, we don't, excuse me, lost my train. I literally just woke up. We don't eat lunch. And if we do eat lunch, it's super low. And we're going to work in the yard today and I'm working out. So I'm not worried about starting my day off with a big breakfast. But um, for dinner, I'm making Greek, like kind of like a Greek style bowl that you just like line it all up in the oven. It should be really easy. I have some tzatziki sauce from Trader Joe's. That's what's prompted that meal. And then I'm gonna uh, make extras and that's kind of what I'm gonna eat during the week along with two salads. So I'll, I'll try to get uh, leftovers out of that at least two times for lunch, if not a third, we'll see. Okay, sorry for rambling so long, see you in a bit. Okay, so here's what my sausage and egg mixture uh, did. I did 10 eggs total, but there's the eggs we'll eat today. Um, so I'm not quite sure how I'm gonna call that. I'll probably call it six and then that's four. And then I have my tortillas. Oh, sorry for that lighting. I have my tortillas laid out and they each have uh, half a serving of cheese for 40 calories. 
And I actually use two types of tortillas. I use the extreme wellness and the carb counter because obviously I ran out. Um, I prefer these, but to be honest, these were way cheaper and I don't mind these. So this one's 45 calories and these are 50. Um, and then I'm just going to divide my X mi mixture. I don't know if it's going to make three or four. I'm thinking now that I'm looking at it, probably four. But again, I'll tell you how much these are um, once I do all the math. Okay, so I did the math and these ended up being either 290 or 285 calories depending on which tortilla. Um, I'll probably just track them all as 290 and be done with it. But it was 40 calories for the cheese, 45 or 50 for the tortilla, 100 for the egg. And Sorry, so anyways, I used 10 eggs for today's breakfast and all this meal prep. And so I said since four tacos, I just divide everything by six servings. So six servings is uh, 100 calories each. And then for the sausage, I said that we ate on these four breakfast tacos about a little less than half the sausage because we're going to eat more today. So overall, this is my total. And I'm just going to wrap these up. And when I heat them up, I'll heat them in the air fryer and I'll add some hot sauce. But I haven't had breakfast tacos in a while, so I'm excited. So this is my final breakfast. Uh, the eggs got a little overcooked and I'm not huge on biscuits and gravy. So I just did like half of my biscuit and then one sausage and one, um, the other half of the biscuit. A Little bit of hash browns and then of course my iced coffee. And today I did the coconut. Um, I estimated this to be, not estimated. Well, you know, it's somewhat estimated since I divide the sausage and the eggs or whatever. But by my math, it comes out to around 600 calories. However, a whole thing of sausage and an extra biscuits over there on the side. So that's probably a little high, but I'm just gonna go ahead and track it like that. Okay. Okay, so I ate my breakfast. It was really, really filling. I actually didn't need that much, but I went ahead and ate it. And then I've been outside doing some work outside. I put some eggshells in my garden it's good for the soil and then i uh we're having an issue with these bugs in our trees so i had to deal with that break some sticky leaves all this mess um i did a little gardening like pulling the weeds and whatnot and now oh and i cut my dog's nails so so far it's only 11 a.m on a sunday and my second load of laundry is in so super productive day i love days like this because then in the afternoon, I want to relax. I got to watch football, Dallas Cowboys, woo -woo, and um, just relax. So I'd rather get my chores out of the way early. But I'm about to work out, and my little Rio is going to help me. Rio, are you going to do downward dog? He's great at down dog. But anyways, I'm lifting. It's day two of a six-day program. I don't know if I'm going to do all six days consecutively. I started yesterday, and man, it kept my heart rate up. It was only 28 minutes. But my heart rate was like high as 170 and it averaged like 140. So I got a lot of active minutes for my Garmin, which I love. Um, it kicked my butt. I haven't, like I said, I've been taking it easy working out. So this is hard, but I'm going to get started. And I think today's workout is like 35 minutes or so. So I'll show you clips. I don't know if it's like two or three blocks, but I'll break it down and show you how it is. See you in a bit. Oh, and this is a belly band. It just, I don't sweat that much. And in order to, um, to excuse me, try to lose more weight, I put this on, try to make myself sweat. Usually I use it when I run, but I figured what the hell, I'll go ahead and put it on today as well. And then that way I don't, I don't put on a shirt. It's just me in my house. Uh, what else was I gonna say? I think that's it. So let's get to it. To you live for day two of our winter break. Now I call this one the blitz. We're gonna blitz up the body and then blitz back down.
Okay, I finished the first block. It had two sets. So I just finished my second set. And now I'm setting, starting on my second block, which will also have two sets. And she said this one's gonna mirror the first block. So block one, we ended with mountain climbers. And this one we're starting with mountain climbers. I don't know if we're doing everything in reverse or not, but I am tired and I'm only halfway and I am 21 minutes into it, so. Today I did 5,734 pounds, which I would say is pretty average for me. Look, in eight days I've only lifted three times. I told you I'm not doing that great. But I still have a check on some days, probably because I did yoga or meditation. I just didn't lift weights. But there's the stats, the volume, the duration, time under tension. That calories will probably be different from what my watch says because my watch actually uses my heart rate. I don't have a monitor that like links to here, although they do have different ones. So you can see all the moves I did each block. So block one had five moves. The next one set one and two, you can see my differences. So I got a few power PR, strength PR, but I will say that one was really, really hard on me. How pathetic is that little doggy? He wants to come in and play ball, but the, his dad is out there literally throwing the ball for him. I kicked him out because he kept dropping the ball behind me when I was working out. So he's trying to hurt his mama, but he is a true mama's boy. Daddy is out there calling him to play ball, but he wants mama to play ball. <laughs> okay, he finally went away to his daddy. This little baby is napping with his ball as a pillow. He just loves his ball so much. And that one's just always napping, no matter what. <laughs> oh, see, I'm not napping. No, I'm wide awake, huh? I'm also getting ready to plant my fall garden. So for the first time I use these indoor starter kits and these are the plants that are getting tall. I've already, it says you have to like uh, remove the seedlings, but one per pod which I removed all but two, sometimes three. I just couldn't bring myself to do that, but I know you're supposed to. We'll see if I end up doing it. So those got too tall, and so I had to actually go buy that separate one. But this one still has the lid on it. It's supposed to keep, keep in humidity. And um, these are, some of them haven't sprouted, but for the most of them they are. And there's my cheat sheet. I'm gonna wait a few more weeks before I move them out. I probably need to move these over there, but anyhow. And then my indoor arrow garden is getting crazy. That's a deal. It's like cray cray. And then I'm actually, I thought this was um, spinach forever. Turns out not so much. It's a bell pepper. So I'm actually growing a bell pepper indoors. <laughs> so, okay. And oh, I'm outside my, and there's my little outdoor garden. Some things are, you can't really see because the, some things are still growing, but I'm going to try to wait a couple more weeks before I put this out. Okay, before I go shower, I need to eat my protein bar. And I always split them, mainly because they're 200 calories and they have 20 grams of protein. So this would be 10 grams of protein for 100 calories. And it is the Bear Bell Salty Peanut. It's pretty good. 
And I'm feeling really low energy. So after I shower, I'm also going to have an uh, energy drink. I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, I got out of the shower and I'm going to go have some relaxing me time. But I'm super low energy, so I'm going to have this Alani New Energy. It's called Rocket Pop. And I've never had this flavor. Her flavors are funny to me because they don't typically tell you what the flavor is going to be. You know, it doesn't say like strawberry or grape or anything. So you never know what you're going to get. And I like these because it's only 10 calories for the whole can. I will say most of the flavors are way too sweet with me. Um, I like them, but I also like cutting them with water. So um, that's interesting. That definitely tastes like, you remember the well, there they are. Okay, so I guess this one's supposed to taste like this bomb pop. I was wondering if it will. And it absolutely tastes, tastes like that bomb pop. They used to be one of my favorite uh, popsicles as a kid. And that's what this tastes like. So, if you hear something in the background, that's my junky vacuum. It's having issues. But, yeah, I like this one. And I don't think I'll have to water this down. I expected it to be red, which is why I picked a blue straw. And then it was just clear. I think I've literally had this since July. I think it was like a seasonal one. I just buy one and it stays in my refrigerator and for months and months and I finally drink it. So anyway, I'm gonna go do that. Okay, it is lunch time, even though it's almost three o'clock. We're just gonna eat a little bit for lunch because we're we'll be having dinner but got some celery and carrots. And then I'm gonna have um, three wings, which is 150 calories, not bad at all. Look at my watermelon. Can you tell how white this is? The entire watermelon was like that. And it's not like a special one. It's supposed to be a regular watermelon. And then I got my grapes, which they're soaking in water and vinegar. I'll dry those off really good. But I tried it and it's not super bad. I actually don't mind the white part of a watermelon. I just don't know about this much of it. But that's it. And the wings I cooked in the air fryer. Let me show you the brand. We've never had them. We just bought these at last time we were at Costco. And I like it because the buffalo sauce is four different bags in here. And I don't know. They seemed... Uh, lower calorie to me for sure so like the sauce um all four bags is only 90 calories so i don't know i did the math and it seems like i'm eating 150 calories so that's what i'm gonna go with and then i'll probably use ranch so that is it and i am starving sorry i meant to add i'm gonna eat this ranch from bolt house um, I think everyone that's losing weight pretty much knows nowadays that Bolt House are the lowest cow dressings and they're yogurt based, but I don't necessarily taste the yogurt. So that's a good thing. And it's 50 calories per serving. It used to be less. They went up. So this is my entire lunch. It comes out to like 450 calories. I decided to go ahead and add one serving of pita chips and hummus. Um, it seemed a little light and then I remembered I had blue cheese. So I just crumbled up. It was only like 10 grams. So not very much. But that's what it comes to. And the dressing, one serving for 50 calories. So let me enjoy this and the game's about to start. So I have next week's base plans all down while we're sitting here. That is not my beer or my brownie brittle. Sitting here watching the football game. Oh, I don't know if I can show that. I don't know. Surely it'll be fine. Yeah, so I just did this, and then uh, earlier I filled in the rest of last week. Just makes me feel like I got my shit together. Okay, I'm prepping dinner. I have all my veggies cut. It's two zucchini seasoned with salt and pepper, and then a lot of fresh dill sprinkled over it. And then this is four bell peppers, two yellow, one orange, and one red, and then um, a red onion. This just has salt and pepper. And then I have four chicken breast, seasoned with Italian seasoning and dill, ready to go on the grill. And initially, the really the way the recipe is for this, it's like a Greek style meal, and you would have put like all your zucchini, all your red bell pepper, all your orange bell pepper, and like build it like a rainbow. Matter of fact, I'll go ahead and uh, insert a photo so you can see what it's supposed to look like. 
but I'm meal prepping it not only for dinner tonight, but also lunches this week. I'm hoping to get at least uh, two, hopefully three extra lunches out of this. And it'll be served with these whole wheat pitas and some tzatziki sauce from Trader Joe's in lemon. But um, the recipe also calls for rice. I don't feel like we need it since we're going to be eating this. I'll ask my husband if he thinks he wants rice or not. So these are gonna go in the oven, both at 425 degrees, and those are going on the pit. Here is the finished product. Pita bed, our grilled vegetables, our grilled chicken. That is hummus and that is tzatziki sauce. I have no idea um, how many calories this is gonna come to. I will show you, but it ended up making four portions. There's my leftover. I like it because it's lower carb. Granted, you have the pita bread, but the recipe said to add rice. I don't feel like we need that, so we're gonna forego it. I don't think it'll be many calories at all, and if you're on WW and chicken was free, um, it would be super low points. Okay, so this is what I have left over. It was way too much food. And before taking away the leftovers, I think it was like a 550 calories. So I think if I remember right, it came down to 450. So my husband had some leftover too. So we'll actually have another small serving. Any, many, money, mo. <laughs> no, I'm serious. Like I cannot decide which one I want. I think I'm gonna go with this one which if you haven't bought these from trader joe's i absolutely love them they come like this like in this clamshell and they're absolutely perfect and they're like i think it's like 70 or 80 calories each whereas these are 90 calories each but you know they're mini ice cream bars i really enjoy these too i've been i've been hooked on these since this summer so i've been eating these for a couple months these are at target these are at trader joe's but i don't know which one i want what should i have i think i'm gonna go ahead and for the clamshell i don't know why I think I got burned out on the other ones. So I'm going to have one of these and probably that's all I'm going to eat for the night. I'll tally up my calories and let you know. Okay, so I'm finishing up my night and I finished pretty much exactly on my goal. My goal is like 1,650 calories and I think, I, or maybe like 57. And I think I ended up with 1,656 or something. And that doesn't include my workout. I input my workout and it tells me I could have like another 200 and something calories. But as always, I try not to eat my workout points. Rather than eat at a big calorie deficit, I prefer to work out and uh, be at a deficit that way. But I'm just sitting down. I'm getting ready to edit a video. I'm swishing my feet. Uh, I have one of these home medics foot massagers. It is so good. We bought it a couple years ago from Bed Bath & Beyond. I absolutely love it. And recently, like just a couple weeks ago, my husband got this thing. He got it at a work function. And it's this shoulder massager. And it feels so freaking good. So it's Sunday night. It's 8 o'clock. And this is how I'm going to end my night. Bye.